team. Nonstop News at 4 continues with this. A Colorado Springs dad who may have refereed your child's soccer games had a life changing spinal cord injury and it's left him in a wheelchair, forcing him to give up that passion. But 11 News Morning Anchor Erica Ferrando shares how an advanced tool is helping him get back on his feet. This is what life looked like for J.R. Longshore, a six-year-old photo capturing how this active Colorado Springs dad spent his weekends hiking, golfing, and refereeing soccer. I got to exercise and enjoy my favorite sport, and then some medical stuff happened, and I don't do that anymore. Now, sure, he spends most hours in a Why wheelchair. <sighs> An MRI revealed a spinal tumor, then cysts and a tethered spinal cord took away his ability to walk. Yeah, I mean, it stinks, but I'm alive and I've learned they have so much adaptive technology for disabled folks. A new advanced physical therapy tool okay. is allowing JR to get back on his feet. It's just freedom. Concentration. It's called the Bioness Vector Gate and Safety System. I'm only racing myself. Patients are harnessed in. Some of their weights taken off and the track prevents them from falling. It is a phenomenal game changer for our patients. Kristen Van Akron is one of JR's physical therapists. And you can see his brain just accepting that he can do things. UC Health began offering this vector harness to patients when they opened their InterQuest building last year, making it the first of its kind in Southern Colorado. We can use it for patients with neurological conditions. We can use it with patients that have had an amputation. We can even use it for return to sport. This is the closest you get to like real world, like just walking around. And each step brings him closer to his goals. I would love to be able to play golf again, even if it's only at top golf. I would love to go disc golfing again. Shoot. I would love to ref soccer again. I don't know how realistic any of those are, but I'll keep trying as long as I can. A tool helping him push the limits with hopes to possibly one day walk on his own again. It's kind of a nebulous goal. Like, maybe I get there, maybe I don't, but I won't get there if I don't try at all. So keep trying, keep trying. You doing okay? Yeah. One step at a time. It's coming. Erica Ferrando. I just haven't used these in so long. 11 News. Uh, JR does still drive. He uses a push hand controller and it allows him to maintain his independency, like getting to work on his own. He still works. JR is a financial planning forecaster. Mm -hmm. He says one step at a time. We're, we're behind him there.